I'm moving on to question two, part A. Part A was asking me to calculate and interpret the residual for a high school senior with a foot length of 20 centimeters and a height of 160 centimeters. So what they gave us was this uh, scatter plot with this data output table. And what they're asking us to do is, we're, they're asking us to basically look at this dot right here, which is what we're talking about, a 20 centimeter foot length, 160 centimeter height, and figure out what the residual is. And what the residual is, is the difference between what we would predict it to be, which is what would be on the line, and, and this observed value. So there is a formula that we're going to use, but the first thing we need to figure out is what is this predicted value. And in order to do that, we need to be able to interpret the table here. And the big part about the table you need to focus on here is this first column. This first column where it says coefficient constant, 105.08 is my y-intercept, 2.599 is my slope. So this is basically saying someone with a zero centimeter length foot would have a height of 105.08 centimeters, which is kind of silly. It's saying someone without a foot length would be 105 centimeters tall. Not realistic because we'd be extrapolating there. That's the word. The foot length of 2.599 says for every time we increase someone's foot length by one centimeter, their predicted height will increase by 2.599. Notice I said predicted height. That's the important part. But what we're really concerned with is the equation that we make out of that. And the equation we make out of that is this little hat. So predicted height equals 105.08 plus 2.599 times foot length. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in 20 here because that's the foot length they provided for us. We're going to go ahead and simplify this using our calculator and we're going to get 157.06 centimeters. Now, the predicted height is 157.06 centimeters. The observed height is 160 centimeters. The formula you need to remember for residual is observed minus predicted. So we're going to take the 160 minus the 157.06, and we're going to get 2.94 centimeters. And then we need to interpret it. Uh, what we ended up doing is we ended up understating. The high school senior's height was understated by 2.94 centimeters. What that is saying is that going back up here, um, we said it was going to be here on the line. It was actually above the line, so we actually understated what the real result is. Or you could have said the senior was taller than the predicted height, one of, one of those two. But what you really need to do is you need to make it tied to this number here, 2.94, and you need to kind of give context. High school seniors' heights and understated by 2.94.